everybody. My name is Debbie. Welcome to my page, uh, which is Southern Comfort with Debbie DIY. Um, if you like what we're making tonight, please sprinkle our video, which means this. I would really, really appreciate it if you did. We are going to be making a light. Um, I'm using all kinds of stuff, and I'll explain what it is as we go along. Everything here... Um, except these bread ties. It's from Dollar Tree. So, we got all kinds of stuff here. Too much to explain. Um, so we're going to get started. These are strainers from the Dollar Tree. Take your little tags off the back. If you can stand the strain. <laughs> this is my husband, Neil. He's behind the camera. Everybody say hi to Neil. The first thing we're going to do is, these are like wire cutters. I'm just going to use them to break this plastic, this ledge right here. Can you see that? Yep. Okay. I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. And the reason we're going to break this part, and be careful because it does go flying. Yep. Um, it's because we want to be able to put the the cord to our lights out this back area here. And that was real easy to do. You just bend it and break it. Turn your eyes away, turn your head away when you do that so you don't get hit in the eye with it. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take out our lights. These are the 20 mini lights. Uh, they plug in. They're from Dollar Tree. It would be better if My bad. you had some pink lights uh, for this project, but I don't. I'm using what I have in my craft room, and you can tell I've had these for ages. Um, I probably have 40 of these in my in my craft room because we make a lot of um, bottles bottles with lights in them at Christmas time. So good to keep those on hand for lots of projects. Yeah, we use them actually for quite a few things. Quite a few things. And, stuff. and I did make one of these at Christmas time, one of these lights, and I'll show it to you at the end. So these are just nice to have. Okay, let me see if I can get this unstuck here. Why does it not want to come in then? It's really wrapped around there. Hold on, bear with me guys. How's everybody doing today? Are we all keeping busy during our um, our lockdown? Preferably, too, you would want white, the white lights with the wires that are white so you can't see them. Um, this is just what I have, so I'm just going to make do. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our bread ties, and we're going to tie these to the top so that when we flip it over, they don't fall down into the bottom. So... I'm just sticking them right between these two wires, just like this. And then go right up into here, come down through the next one, just like that. Can you see that? Okay, so we're just going to go in up one and under the, over the next one. And then we're just going to twist it together as tight as you can. Now, last time I made one of these, I used fishing wire, and it broke. So, when you see my Christmas one, you'll see the difference. And my Christmas one has, um, like, 100 lights in it instead of 20. And it is so bright. Oh, my God. So, 20 lights is plenty. You could probably even get away with 10 lights. Um, Unless you want to land planes in your yard. Yeah, you could see mine for huh, a mile away. And there's no rhyme or reason to how you're going to do this, um, where you put your weights. You just want to tack them down just so that they don't fall. So. And doing this with fishing wire was way harder. Oh my god. I spent two hours trying to tack my lights down. And then still had to have Neil help me because when you have nails, um, really hard to hang on to fishing wire. Yep. 
so he had to help me. That wasn't easy. No, it wasn't easy. It wasn't any fun either. So this is a lot easier to do it this way. And I'm just going around in a circle. Um, I'm sorry you hear my dog eating down here. Yeah, we, she snuck back down. We have uh, St. Bernard's and Border Collies. We have 11 dogs. Oh, and a Chihuahua. And um, I'm not a hoarder. We breed our dogs. And we usually call this crafting with kitties because we have 11 cats. And we're not hoarders. We do a lot of animal rescue. And um, the kittens that we can't find homes for, we just keep. So we have lots of kitties right now. It's kitty nap time right now. Look at Biko. Yeah, they're all She's sleeping, so thank God, because yeah. otherwise, there's a reason we call it, um, okay, I'm, I only did three. I could have probably got away with doing two. Um, I forgot what I was going to say. Crafting with kitties. Oh, crafting with kitties. Yeah, the reason we call it crafting with kitties is because they usually walk right through here, or they decide to lay down right here and sleep right in the middle of my craft, which isn't fun. Okay, the part that we broke over here, we want our wire to come out here. And then we're going to glue this down, and you want to line up these two ends and these two ends. So we got to kind of make a match. Let me see if my glue gun's hot enough yet. Oh, yep, it is. And you kind of got to work fast on this. Um, otherwise, your glue, whoa, I'm being a little bit crazy here. Crazy people. And this is a good time to turn your glue gun on high if you have a dual temp glue gun. So that we have a little bit of time to get this together. Let me put mine on high as a matter of fact. Mine's on low. Let me see if it stayed. And it did. Okay, so now you have this. This side over here did not stay. Okay, so I'm going to come back around and do this in sections, I guess, just so I can keep it together. And don't worry if you get glue on the outside, you're not really going to see it because we're going to put some ribbon around this. This thing is going to become gorgeous. It's going to be neat. Yeah, it's going to be cutesy. Now normally, I don't like your normal Easter colors. I got a cat right here, Pico. Yep. Um, I like doing Easter crafts, but I like the more neutral tones or the laces, things like that. I'm not really big into the the real cutesy cutesy stuff like this. But my daughter asked me to make her a light, like the Christmas one, for Easter. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm making this for my daughter. Whoops. I was going to ask you, did you put that in there? No. Okay. I got a whole pile of these over here that we're going to use. Right. Okay. I think that stayed this time. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you have glue all on the outside. You're not going to see it. So now what we're going to do is we are going to put some all of these ribbons I'm using are all from Dollar Tree. And I have a whole bunch of them here. Because um, I think I know the ones I want to use, but just in case I brought more. Because, you know, you change your mind about halfway through everything. Or I do anyway. So I end up adding something that I didn't plan on adding. Hold on, I'm just trying to get this tape off of right here. Alright, there we go. I'm going to have a pile of garbage going over here. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to go around the outside of this, just like this. All the way around. And I'm going to start right here and work my way around right at the back here. And we're going to end right here because it's going to give you a big lump if we go try to go around this. So we're just going to start right here. 
and we're going to do this in sections. Just so that it doesn't dry up on us. Just like that. Hmm. I'm wondering if I shouldn't cut this. Um... No, I think it's good. Okay, so then when you go around this way, you're going to do it right over your handles here. Just like this. And then come back around. So just go right over your handles. down. Did anybody get any April Fool's jokes played on them today? I think but, April Fool's was canceled due to lack of interest. Ah, well, you still gotta have fun. I mean, just because we're all locked in the house, we can still have fun, right? Gotta make it entertaining somehow. Yeah. There was a few Facebook jokes. Was there? Yeah. Go down. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around. Just make sure you push it down. And then I got a spot here that's not sticking very well. Now you you could absolutely E6000 these together. Um, it would hold a lot better if you had time. But with E6000, you have to let it set for a few hours at least, but preferably overnight. So I'm not doing mine with E6000. And as long as you don't plan on playing ball with this or anything, it should stay. Coming right up on the end here. Just like that. You could even break off these if you wanted to. These little uh, handles. I probably should have done that. Because I think, I, yeah, I did do it on my other one. So yeah, break off these handles when you do yours. Just take your wire cutters and just break the handles right off. Because it'll turn out a lot cuter. Okay. That one's done. This is actually a really easy, very easy project to do. Okay, so now for these. I have these decorative foam stickers from Dollar Tree. Um, comes with a whole bunch in it for a dollar, so this is a really great buy. But I'm going to use a whole bunch here. I've got the chickens, and they had these little cutouts in them. I picked them all out beforehand so that you guys didn't have to sit here and watch me pick them all out. But and they're, they're, they're stickers, so... I am going to hot glue them though. So I'm using the chickens, the butterflies, um, the eggs, these little chicken eggs right here. And I'm just going to rotate between, see, this is the little things I'm talking about. See that? And you just pull them out just like that. These are going to go on my other part, so I'm not going to rotate those. I'm just going to kind of get these in somewhat of order for myself here. Okay. I'm going to 
I'm trying to put this where you guys can see it, and I can see it too. So I'm going to peel the sticker off. And I'm going to hot glue it, just to be safe. Just like that. And I'm going to do my little butterfly. Anyone that knows me knows butterflies are my favorite. So you know I had to add some butterflies in this. And I'm not putting a whole lot of glue on these, just a little bit. And there's not enough of one particular thing in here to do them all the same. Otherwise, I would have done that. So I'm just using several different ones and just rotating them as I go along. Isn't he cute? Look at that little thing. So cute. Laura Franklin has joined us. Hey, Laura. How are you? We are making an Easter light. This is a cute project for kids, um, for their bedroom too, very cute. This one's for my daughter, but she's an adult, <laughs> so, I mean. Sort of. Sort of, yeah, she's, she's 27, but she thinks she's still like 10, so. The blanket keeper. Yeah. What we did is we, um, we took two strainers from the Dollar Tree and we put some lights in here and tied them at into the top part here. And now we're just making it pretty. These are foam stickers, from, decorative foam stickers from Dollar Tree. I'm gluing them on just to be safe. Um, They don't want it falling off. Sorry, you can hear my birdies, guys. I got lovebirds and finch. And they are being pretty vocal right now. At least it's not the dogs. Lately it's been the dogs. Oh, on cue. There they go, barking. Of course. So yeah, my dogs lately have been the ones that have been very, very vocal every time I go live. They just decide to have a field day and make me look like an idiot. But that's okay. Oh my God, piece of sticker on there. Oh yeah, I baked a turkey today. We had a really nice turkey dinner. And we're probably gonna get a knock on the door because I have some uh, round hay bales being delivered here shortly. So Neil's gonna be taking off on me to go deal with that while I am doing my craft here. Terry's here. Hey Terry. Look what we're doing. She says she's seen so much fun stuff with strainers. Oh, really? Yeah. So this is probably another one. Yep, this is another one then. I always have at least four of these in my arsenal um, because I, I love doing these lights. They're so pretty. That one burned me. And I'm just putting these um, foam stickers from Dollar Tree, decorative foam stickers on there. And this came with a ton in it, so it's a really good buy for a dollar. I think I bought these last year, um, but I have seen them at the Dollar Tree. Not like you can go get them anyway right now. And if you guys do yours, make sure and cut the, um, the handles off. I didn't cut mine off. I forgot. And that's okay. 
My daughter won't care. I think I'm making a kitchen basket tomorrow. Uh, well, I'm making two, actually. One for me and one for my daughter. So we're going to be Mod Podging. Um, and I'm hoping it's going to turn out really, really cute. All right, let's get... So let's see how this looks right now. Terry says no apologies for hearing birdies. I think she likes it. Ah, uh, See, that's what we have so far. And I think I'm going to keep it lit up because... I just like it. <laughs> Maybe it'll help you guys see what I'm doing a little better, too. I don't know. All right, so we're done with that. Yeah, see these lumps sticking out here? I might go back um, when I'm done here and just break these off and re glue my stuff. I don't know yet. I might, I might not. So I have these flowers. These come in a little cement thing. And I just thought they were super cute, so I, have, I bought a bunch of these, but I can only find two packs, and I don't think I'm going to need any more, though. I'm just taking wire cutters and snipping the wires here, right up at the top. Well, this one wants to break a little lower, so let me see what I can do. Come on, you. There we go. I don't know how many I'm going to use yet. I also have these ones that I thought were super pretty. So I'm going to take a couple of these off. Let's see what we're going to do. I think I'm going to do a bow on top. Now, you guys know I'm not the best bow maker here, so... I'm just going to show you what I do, and then you guys can try to do it or not. What I'm doing is I'm measuring, like, I want it to be probably yeah. as wide as this. You have to carry on while I take care of this. Oh, mm -hmm. yep, there goes our hay is here. Okay. So Neil's leaving us for a minute. Yep. And I'm just going to keep rotating back and forth, just like this. Oops, let's keep it the same distance here. I love this pretty sheer stuff. It's really, really pretty. And I've got two here and two here. Or do I? Let me see here. Let me do one more. Guess it doesn't matter because that's the end of my roll, so I might as well use it up. I don't have anything else out here. Raphael would probably be better to wrap this in. I just don't have any. So I'm just going to wrap it in the middle. Make sure you wrap it real tight. I'm not your perfection uh, bow maker here. I can make a bow to get by, but it's not even really pretty, so... Let's see. Let's we'll see how it turns out here. And this this ribbon has wire on it, so it makes it a little bit easier to to mess with. And I'm just gonna twist it, open it. Can you guys see what I'm doing here? Well, I can't even see what you're saying now because Neil left. Um, He'll be in it short in a minute here. So here's our bow. And I'm gonna cut off these little ends here. So I just took my little end here and just wrapped it right around so you can't see this twine in the middle.
Where's my front? Okay, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the this side of the bow to the back. And then I'm gonna glue this right to the middle. Oh no I'm not. Hold on. Change my mind for a minute. Because I forgot I'm putting this on there. Got ahead of myself. Everything here is from Dollar Tree, guys. So, I'm just going to kind of measure how far down I want these to go. Where do I want them to go? I think I want them to go down here. So, I'm going to cut them all the same length. Four of them because we're going to do crisscross like this. Oh, goodness, my dogs. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Okay, so then I'm just going to bend them where they meet like that. And then this side, that's not the open side, but the closed side, you want to go from that edge to the corner. And it will give you your little ducktails. So I'm going to do that with all four of them. I'm going to show you again. Not this open side. You're going to go from here to your corner. Just like that. Goodness. That's why they're barking and they're playing. And I don't like to yell at them if they're playing, you know. But they can get on your nerves a little bit. Overlapping them just a little bit. I need some brand new finger glue here. I'm going to turn this down. I'm glue them down a little bit. Okay, so now that those are in, now I'm going to do this color. And I'm going to go right in between them the same way. And the same length. So I'm just going to measure out one. And I have one to... Hmm. You know, I'm going to go a little bit shorter on these ones. Just a little bit. So I made these ones just a couple inches shorter. Just so that they can go... In between them and not be the same length. Give them a little bit more dimension. I'm going to do the same thing with the dovetails here. Fold them. Go from the inside corner to the outside corner. Just like that. Hush up! Sorry, guys. They be cray cray today. Well, they're about cray cray, cray cray every day. Right, so now, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just go crisscross from each other, just like that. Hot, hot, hot. 
Now I'm going to do my bow. So now I'm going to put my bow up here. I'm going to put a good amount of glue on it just to hold it in place. I have this egg from Dollar Tree. Um, I bought this with the hopes of uh, being able to decoupage it, but it has, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has all these little tiny pieces of plastic glittery stuff on it, which is perfect for this, but not so good for um, decoupaging. So I'm going to stick it right here in the middle. Put a good amount. Like I said, everything here too is from Dollar Tree. How'd the hay look? Uh, it's good. It's got some wetness on the outside yeah. a little bit, but the inside is, is alfalfa and clover and okay, um, rye. So it has the, uh, the proper mix. Some what? Some warmer for the horses of ivermectin. Yeah. Next time I'm out. Is that time to leave the leaves on here? I think I'm going to take the leaves off. Goodness, birdies. This is why I keep wipes outside. Yeah. You wash your hands good? Yep. Wash them up real good. Sorry, I'm trying to get the info from down here. Okay. I'm going to... I'm just going to put some flowers wherever. Flowers. Oh, look at that bow. I just wanted to put them, put them in places. That is looking very eastery. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did it fall down and go boom? It's a little eggy here. You gotta be careful with eggs. I doesn't want to stay. I wasn't sure if this egg was going to work or not, because it is a really big egg for this. Yeah. But I wanted a statement on top to, um... I like it. That actually makes sense. I think the and I have some the... smaller eggs and things to go on here that will kind of hold it in place once I get them put in. Mm -hmm. I just need to get this to stay. It's because of the bow. Yeah. yeah. It can be. It can be done. Stay. 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 Yeah. I just had a flower. I it. What's up with them flowers? Ah, there it is. Remind me of the old swim caps from the 60s. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I sure do, yeah. yeah. I know. For those of us that are that old. I was going to say you're aging yourself. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. I don't care. And then we have some green. I'm a certain age and I live to tell about it. You guys, when these <laughs> were put out at my Dollar Tree, just all of them that were this color, I bought them all. Every one of them. Nobody else got any. They were like, mine, 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 mine. They had hydrangeas in this color, lilies in this color, these daisies in this color. I grabbed them all. Because I love this color. And these, this color goes with everything. And it really makes a statement in a bouquet. Mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So I like a whole bouquet just of these. Um, just in different colors. And there we go. Okay, so now I have these little flowers here. They're the foam the foam ones we use down here. Just little daisies or little something. Some kind of flower. Hold on, I'm trying to get the sticker off. It doesn't want to come off. And they probably would stick all on their own, but I'm using my hot glue to keep them on. They have stucky back on it? Yeah, stucky back. Hold on, I gotta find my other ones. Where are they? Here they are. And I'm just gonna put these on the pink ones. Should I put them in the green ones instead? 
And I put them on the green ones. Oh, I think I put them on the green ones instead. They look prettier on the green. Yeah, just like that. I'm gonna take this one off. Danger Mouse is asking me questions over here. Yeah? Yeah. Danger Mouse is our chihuahua. Um, her name is Bridget, but... We she, a little secretly, strong. Yeah. Secretly, she puts on an outfit and fights crime. Yes, she's a crime fighter. And she'll, she'll leap from my couch to my chair over here when she wants to be in my lap and I won't let her. <laughs> and we were like, one day we're going to get her a cake and a mask. Because... Like, she leaps bounds. I can't believe how far she can jump. Oh, and she can run like the wind. Yeah. Okay, yeah, should have one more over here. We tried to catch her on video running across the yard, but she's too fast. Oh, she runs like so fast. She, she'll dart out the front door, and we have like 20 acres, so we, we use about two or three acres for our front yard, though. And she, man, she just takes up running. And she just zooms around the whole yard, like, just having fun. So there. Now we got those on. Ooh, why is this one so sticky? There we go. I'll get this glue off when we're done. Hold on here, guys. Yeah, got a piece there. Snipper. Okay, so now... Get off me. Um, I have my handy dandy Easter eggs here. I think I want a yellow one. And of course, I gotta go to the bottom of the barrel here. I want a purple one. Were you talking to Kelly about stuff? Kelly. Kelly Marshall? Uh, no way. Uh, she popped in with a message. I don't know what it is. Oh. I wonder if you knew what that was about. Um, I, I asked her a few days ago and uh, she knew where I could get some hay. Oh. So that might be what she's coming in and out. I don't know. Okay, hold on guys. I'm going to get out my, um, you know I can't leave these eggs plain. So I'm going to find to put on these eggs. I have three boxes of these guys. Um, let me see what else I have. Ooh, I got hearts and butterflies. I got tons of gems and things in here. And this is like my travel, ooh, I got red hearts. My travel box when I go to my daughter's to um, to craft with her. I just bring my whole goodie box. You know, I think I'm gonna do butterflies. Or should I do a combination, hearts and butterflies? I'm gonna do a combination. I have my hearts and my butterflies. Okay. Little gems that you can buy. And these are the butterfly ones. Super cute. Just like that. Give my nails and my hands today, guys. I was um, spray painting something black for tomorrow's uh, project and I got paint everywhere all over me. I'm just going to super glue these um, or hot glue these shut so they don't pop open on me. And I'm just putting a little glue right along this, this lip here. Close. There we go. I'm 
going to use a green one, green butterfly. Hopefully these will stick to my end here. And maybe a pink heart. I'm not going to um, decorate them all the way around because we're only going to see the front side of them, probably. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit on the edges in the front. Because I plan on putting them in here like this. So let's see. I'm going to do a purple heart. Just like that. And I have all kinds of stuff in this box that I could put on these, but I just don't want to overdo it. I just want to just fix them up a little bit. Let's do purple or pink butterfly. This is Pico Kitty. Mm -hmm. Crafting with kitties once yeah. again. He wants to know what you're doing. Yep. I think moreover, he wants to know, is that food? I know. Is that food? Well, they've been smelling um, turkey all day. Yeah. I made a whole turkey today and turkey dinner. Look at Danger Mouse looking at you. I know. Terry always says, I see paws. <laughs> yes, she's over here wanting in my lap again. And if I don't pick her up, she will go over to the couch and fly across just to show me that. Either that or she'll hound you. Yeah, get, get or she'll it. just stand and hound me. <laughs> or she'll just sit here with me and beg and beg and beg. Okay. So there we go. That's our Bridgie. Yeah. She's my little lover. She loves her mommy. Sidekick deluxe. And usually when she's in my lap, she's in my shirt. She'll take her paw and pull my shirt down and climb right in. She likes to be enclosed. And she can't get close enough to me. Okay, so now I'm going to do little eggs. Let's push this aside. I'm trying to think of if I, I want to do another bow or not. Because I have this. What do you guys think? Should I do another bow? In here somewhere? Maybe in the back side? Hmm. What's everybody saying? Yeah, so far, not. so far, nothing. It looks pretty complete. You think so? Yeah. All right, let me put my eggs in there. So we'll see how it looks. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and put some glue on the bottom and put a little bit on the back. See if I can get it to stick to this egg here. Just like that. And do the same thing with this one. turning into quite the Easter thing. Yeah. And I have these little eggs here. I'm not sure where I want to put them. I'm just going to put one in the middle there. Yep, that looks good. I'm just going to glue right along the back side. Put it in the middle, right here. And I think we're done. Well, that went quick. Quicker than I thought it would. What do you think, guys? Does it need something else? Yay, nay. Oh, I think I need another egg over here. Hold on. Let me get a, a blue egg. didn't have it looking at me. 
So I think I need one here. And probably another little egg in the middle of those two. Let's see. I need to do three butterflies on this one. That went fast. Did, you, did they? Where did did they unload them in the corral or? One in, one out. Okay. Did you look in them? Yep. Okay. Sorry. Usually I'd go deal with the hay people, and um, they decided to come late at night. So. <coughs> One more egg out here. How about an orange one? Hmm. Do I have enough room down in here? Or do I? Hold on, guys. I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I'm sporting my Eeyore pajamas tonight. Mm -hmm. Love my Eeyores. They're my favorite. Well, they're all my favorite. I have about 30 different pairs of pajama bottoms, and I love them all. Anybody say if they thought I needed more ribbon or no? No one chimed in on that. Okay. I, must, I must think it's fine as is. Alrighty then. I think we're done, guys. I am going to take this apart and I'm going to cut these little handles off here. Just so that it's more... Oh, I want to show you my, my Christmas one I did. So hold on. Let me unfold this one. If you have sunglasses handy, you might want to put them on oh, yeah. now. This one, um, this one I only put 20 lights in. The other one, the Christmas one I did, I put, um, I think 100 lights in. Yeah. Oh my lord, this one is bright. But this was my little Christmas one. There we go. Cover your eyes, guys, because yeah. this is bright. See? Oops. Look at that. Oh. I was saying earlier, I had taken fishing wire and tied half the lights, 50 of the lights, up here on the top. But they all, it broke and they all fell. So now I have just a big ball of lights in the bottom here. Mm -hmm. So, this is a Christmas one. If you're interested in doing a Christmas one, they're really cute. You can get as crazy as you want with them. I didn't get as crazy with this one. I just thought it was cute um, doing it this way. But anyways... Um, I hope you all have a great night, and tomorrow we'll be making a bit. Oh, wait, 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 I forgot to use these. I oh, no, my you forgot your butterflies. I love my butterflies. These are new at Dollar Tree this year. Um, they're flowers, but they're little butterflies. Look at that. Aren't they adorable? So I gotta do a, where's my light? Can you hear me that? Mm -hmm. I have to have at least one butterfly on there. Because... I'm a butterfly freak. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cute. That's too cute. I'm just going to cut the little lip off the back. So that it can stick to my, my little egg here. I'm wondering if I should put one somewhere else. I love my butterflies. Maybe I'll put one here. 
Let me, let me just see how I want to look. Oh, yeah. If I had it my way, I'd cover this whole thing in butterflies. Okay, now it's complete. I think. Let me make sure. <laughs> Let me look around. Yeah, I think I used everything I planned to use. So there we go. There's our little Easter light. I hope you guys like it. If you liked it, um, sprinkle the love, which means this. And I really appreciate it if you do. And I hope to see you guys back here tomorrow night at 8. Have a great night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.